501, the investigation into the deadly Southwest Baltimore bus crash will continue for at least the next several days. The crash is so severe the NTSB has gotten involved. Six people are dead, including both drivers and four passengers on that MTA bus. Brendan McNamara joins us live from the scene where the investigation stands right now. Good morning, Brendan. Good morning, Christian and Ashley. Frederick Avenue is now open to traffic and pedestrians. And right here at the point, almost the exact point of impact of where those buses collided, there is a memorial with signatures asking for prayers and support for the family members of those who were killed in this crash. In the meantime, federal investigators will be here to continue looking into how all of this happened. Right now, mechanical issues as well as a possible medical problem with the, the, the Bus driver of the school bus have been mentioned as possible causes of the crash. A school bus to, that hit that MTA bus, as well as another car, um, and pieces of property killing both drivers and four MTA passengers. The NTSB says it will also be here looking into human air, crash survivability, and even highway design and trying to determine a cause, piecing together this horrific crash that was caught on just release 911 dispatch tape. Got a couple of people unresponsive inside the bus. I'm gonna need Frederick Block at Frederick and Monastery. Okay. Also, you need Frederick Block down by the, uh, what's I guess I'm guessing it's Morley. All right, so I'm being pulled. There's possibly another accident at Frederick and Monastery. I'm walking up there. Baltimore police says it's also leading this investigation as well, even as the federal authorities are here. The NTSB says they could be here as many as several days, at least by the end of the week. Guys, back to you.